Taylor James Johnson here with That Bigfoot Show. Yes, that one, and well, it's been one heck of a year when it comes to Sasquatch. It's almost, almost in my opinion, Bigfoot is the person of the year. So much has happened involving this cryptid creature in terms of, of, of proof, of pop culture, politics, Sasquatch creatures had their toes dipped in all of these topics all year long. And here at the Paranormal Network on That Bigfoot Show, yes, that one, we are going to take a deep dive into all of these spectacular Sasquatch stories that happened during the year 2021. Anno Domini. I want to take this time to say thank you for watching That Bigfoot Show. Please like, share, and subscribe. Click that bell to get notifications on future content. Now, back to the show. Bigfoot had a big year when it came to movies and TV. All sorts of movies and TV. Horror movies, documentaries, comedies of all budgets and all qualities. So let's look at what 2021 brought us. Our friends at Small Town Monsters continued their incredible series on the trail of Bigfoot, The Discovery, and Finding Bigfoot actually returned. Finding Bigfoot, the search continues on Discovery Plus, and there was even a murder mystery Hulu documentary, Sasquatch. The proof is out there on the History Channel uncovered a North Carolina sighting, and some pretty incredible Australian Yowie evidence. There was Expedition Bigfoot on the Travel Channel this year, Alaskan Killer Bigfoot on Discovery Plus, a documentary comedy called 15 Things You Didn't Know About Bigfoot, looks pretty darn funny actually, and a coming of age film called Ape Canyon. Aliens vs. Bigfoot came out this year and it's actually a documentary, even though the poster doesn't look like it. Bigfoot also went up against man in the film Man vs. Bigfoot. And of course, Bigfoot went up against his most epic villain yet, Megalodon. Bigfoot vs. Megalodon. And in case you're wondering how that even happens, well, don't worry, it's in space. So, so that, that makes sense. Bigfoot went up against a Wendigo creature in Dawn of the Beast. And we got a little comedy that pokes fun at our clickbait culture in Bigfoot Famous and a gritty grindhouse indie horror film called Bigfoot's Bride. And I've been saying it for years that Bigfoot can fit into every movie category, even Christian films. Yes, there actually was a Christian faith-themed action horror Bigfoot movie that came out this year called The Badge, The Bible, and Bigfoot. 2021 also brought us another horror movie called Myth. And the video game Bigfoot 4.0 got an update. And that very strange Bigfoot is my dad cartoon franchise got a new installment, Bigfoot Family. Technically, this one was released in 2020, but you could watch it on Netflix in 2021. So there. This is the one where Bigfoot wears blue jeans and has a relationship with a human woman mother person. It's a family film. Even those Osbournes tried their hands at the cryptic thing this year. In 2021, Joe Rogan also had a few Bigfoot comments to say. Vocal experts are analyzing it. The human body is incapable of making such sounds. <laughs> WPBS Weekly, Inside the Stories tackled cryptozoology with Bigfoot and water monsters. Spectrum News 1 in Kentucky covered the creature. WKYC Channel 3 in Cleveland jokingly reported on some dude in a Halloween costume. And there was a screening of The Legend of Boggy Creek restored in 4K at the Texas Bigfoot Film Festival. And Sasquatch saxed his heart out all 2021 long. But not only was Bigfoot making waves in pop culture and on the big screen, Sasquatch creatures were doing a lot this year in uh, real life. First, I want to discuss what I'm calling the Canadian Christmas Squatch. This one happened on Christmas night 2020, but it wasn't reported until 2021 by the Toronto Star. 
This sighting occurred in Silverton, British Columbia, Canada. A woman named Erica D'Souza and friends were driving home when they saw a large man-like figure on the side of the road. This figure stood up, then ran off on all fours. They returned to the site after dropping children off at home and found tracks in the snow. Matt Moneymaker from the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization, BFRO, has described the prints as unhoaxable. The witness went on to say, it leaves me with a sense of awe and wonderment on all the beautiful mysteries of this world. Also noting that indigenous cultures recognize the existence of Bigfoot-like creatures. So that means it's true. So yeah, in terms of sightings, 2021 started off with a bang. Then there was a lot of really interesting activity going on in Ashland, Ohio. The first sighting in this area occurred outside of a gym parking lot. It was April 24th, 2001. A 20-year-old woman was exiting a gym, making her way through a well-lit parking lot when she saw an eight-foot creature covered in gray hair standing 30 yards away. Then it ran back into the woods. She was terrified, called her parents who believed her. They could sense that the fear was real and they knew what kind of person she was and that she wouldn't make this stuff up. Her father reported it to the BFRO, but apparently the witness's name has been removed and she is no longer interested in discussing this event. After receiving much ridicule and bullying from her co-workers and friends. Don't make fun of people who've seen Bigfoot. That's just mean, and it prevents science stuff. Stop it. Just say no to Bigfoot bullying. Then there was a second sighting a few miles away from the gym on a rainy day, June 9th, 2001. An unnamed 51-year-old male who had a two-decade-long career in law enforcement witnessed something very squatchy. The witness has said, I have tried to explain it away, but I can't. He was riding his lawnmower when he saw something 250 yards away. It was a large black figure walking on two legs across a soybean field. He had no camera on him because it was a rainy day and did not believe it was a person because there was no reason for a person to be walking in that area in the rain. He even went back with his son and tried to recreate the incident, but it was not the same. And they concluded that the bipedal figure that he had seen was not human. Then there was a third sighting in Ashland. Nine days later, on June 19th, two women were out in the wilderness and they were actually jokingly making Bigfoot calls because they had seen it on TV and thought it'd be just a fun, funny little thing to do to pass the time as, as a joke. I get it. But then, something took this joke seriously and responded with a tree knock and some rock throwing. And because of the dense brush, the women were only able to see the creature's leg and hip. And the reason why these three recent Ashland sightings that happened this year are very interesting to me is because around this same area, there was an incredible encounter in 1943. So this stuff has been happening here for a while. And in 1943, a female Sasquatch rescued a lost child, which has happened before. The little boy was lost in the woods, separated from his family. The Sasquatch gently picked him up, took him to an area where his parents could find him, and placed a tree branch on his legs so that he couldn't get up and left him there for his parents to find, which they did soon after. And only this child's kindergarten teacher believed him, so she had the child illustrate the creature. This is one of my favorite Bigfoot stories, and it's so interesting that this area is still having Sasquatch activity. Then in July 2021, the World Wide Web was hit with an incredible video that has now been viewed over a million times. This is a possible Michigan Bigfoot crossing the Coss River with a possible infant in her arms. Or it's just a fisherman in a big jacket. Who knows? These photos and footage has been investigated by the Rocky Mountain Sasquatch Organization. Like I said, some people think this Squatch is carrying a baby 
And some think it's carrying a deer carcass. This video comes from a person named Eddie V, who goes on to say, My cousin was kayaking on the Coss River here in Michigan when we took this picture. Not sure what it is, but I've sent it to a few people to see what they say. Some say it's Bigfoot carrying a baby Bigfoot, others say it's Bigfoot carrying a deer. What do you think? Very interesting shadows and possible muscle tone in this one, but why doesn't anyone have an HD camera now? I mean, it's 2021, people. In August 2021, there was some activity in Idaho. We got a very short one second long video, which is very suspicious, but still very interesting. This one is on the YouTube channel NVTV. The video description says, the Bigfoot in this video looks very real. And you can even make out the heavy build and all the muscles, which is hard to replicate using a fake suit. Plus, who in their right mind would rent or buy a suit just to pull off a hoax? It continues to say, This simply cannot be a man in a suit, only because there is so much detail in the body. It looks massive in size. Yes, this one is very interesting to look at, but just having one second of it is not enough to convince me. On October 27th, 2021, the Instagram channel Cryptid University posted another astonishing sighting. Possibly. Allegedly. Even though some people claim that this was shot years before, it didn't really gain popularity until this year. There's very little info on this video. All we know is that it takes place somewhere in Georgia and is, you know, possibly a skunk ape. But having absolutely almost zero information on this thing is a huge red flag. But I do get chills every time that thing stands up. The Cryptid University Instagram also posted something very interesting on November the 5th. It's from a TikTok video. Bigfoot's on TikTok too. This one allegedly took place in East Texas and is a very creepy cryptid. And I'm pretty dang sure this is a hoax, but I gotta respect the creepiness of it. Chills every time I watch this. This is terrifying. Look at that face. Once again, we have no information on this, so yeah, it's 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 most likely definitely, yeah, it's a hoax. But at least it's a cool hoax. And I'm saving my favorite Bigfoot story of 2021 for last, even though it happened at the beginning of 2021. In late January of 2021, Oklahoma Representative Justin Humphrey introduced House Bill 1648 which would basically officially create a legitimate Bigfoot hunting season with hunting fees, hunting licenses, and everything. Of course, this was very controversial. The worlds of politics and cryptozoology were clashing. A change.org petition was actually created because of this proposed house bill. Some people wanted to stop this, claiming that it's Sasquatch genocide. So, is this Oklahoma lawmaker a true believer? Or is he just doing this for, you know, tourism money? Humphreys also offered a big bounty on the legendary creature, which eventually got up to $3 million to whoever could capture the creature alive and unharmed. And of course, Mr. Humphreys eventually would admit that this was just a fun way to attract attention to the area and maybe start a festival of some sort. But it was just interesting to see how the world reacted to this. Politics. It's such a dirty, dirty game. And you know what? This right here, this Bigfoot hunting season scandal, is probably the most scandalous thing to happen in politics in 2021. Out of all of the things that happened, this, this was the worst. Oklahoma lawmaker facing backlash after opposing a Bigfoot hunting season. So yeah, there you have it. All of that Sasquatch stuff happened in the last 12 months. I think 2021 will go down in the history books as a monumental year for Sasquatch discoveries, sightings, movies, TV, and even politics. Sasquatch truly took over the world in 2021. He's even in our hot sauce and our shampoo. Click the link for Dr. Squatch Natural Soap. Real soap for real men. Thank you very much for watching that Bigfoot show. Yes, that one. And like we said, it has been a spectacular year for the Squatch. And if you saw anything, heard anything, know of anything that happened this year or any year, please 
let us know in the comments. Comment your comments in the comments, okay? So yeah, happy new year, everybody. And let's hope that the year 2022 brings us even more incredible Sasquatch stuff. <laughs>